1636, the hamburger was invented in Hamburg, Germany. 260 years later, the great-great-grandson of the inventor, Ludwig Augustus von Hamburgo, came to New York City to open the United States' very first burger stand. Right here in Soho, as a matter of fact. What's good, YouTube? I'm Louis Gusto, and today we're in Manhattan to munch on the best, most meaty hamburgers that New York City has to offer. So go ahead, finesse that like button, and let's get some hamburgers. Waiting for the train, headed towards some delicious burgers. It is the coldest, most windiest, most blustery, most polar day today in New York City. That's why we wanted to eat burgers all day, keep us warm. We're in Soho right now. And our first stop is right around the corner. Why don't we go inside? I think this might be named after a famous rapper. I have a hard time choosing because everything looks delicious. Oh wait, I say delicious all the time. I'm sorry, I can't help it. I think we're gonna go with this one. This is the Bronson Bacon Burger. It has mushrooms and uh, crispy onions. Yo, our first burger stop of the day is at Bronson's Burgers in Soho. I don't know if this is named after Action Bronson or if he owns it or what. I guess we'll find out. But let's, let's go into our order. We got some skinny fries right here, skinny potato french fries, and the Bronson's Bacon Burger. This has mushrooms, bacon marmalade, crispy onions, and of course, cheddar cheese. It looks so beautiful, and we've been taking pictures of it, so I don't want it to get cold. Let's go. We had a really small breakfast, a couple of boiled eggs. Came out to Manhattan from Brooklyn. So cold, just waiting on that juicy burger. So good. Caramelized onions are on the other, the regular Bronson's burger, but we want to go crispy, and I'm glad we did. It's actually dripping all over the tray. <laughs> Yeah, same something for Narissa. <laughs> we got the burger medium rare. It was nice to have that option. And like I said, we ordered it straight off the menu. No substitutions, no changes. It's really good. The bun is soft. Typically when you get a hamburger that has a lot of toppings, you kind of feel like it's too thick to take that bite, but not, not in this case. Maybe one more bite. Despite the cold weather, the high winds, nose feel like it fell off, that burger makes it all worth it. <laughs> These are almost like shoestring fries. The onions are staying crispy. I thought like if it was sandwiched between the burger, then it would start to get like a little soggy. Crispy the whole way through. I know we've had like bacon jam on a pizza. That was pretty good. Bacon marmalade on a burger. <laughs> hmm. I had this whole plan of what I wanted to say. Not quite a script, but I had my bullet points of what I was gonna talk about. And the second that I bit into this burger, it all flew out the window. I was like, wait, uh, burger good, yum. We actually found out that it's not Action Bronson that the restaurant was named for, but a dog named Bronson. And they have a little outline drawing of him in the corner of the menu, so that's pretty dope. They were actually telling us that they have a chopped cheese now. If you remember, we did chopped cheese in our top 10 New York City foods. Also, their buns are baked at Baltazar's Bakery. Did not intend for that alliteration. I know I do like it, but that was completely unintentional. Regardless, this is just so good. I, this is the type of burger that I would interview for a job at my law firm. You know, like I feel like this burger could step up, maybe be a partner someday. Just normally I don't even like that much toppings on my burger, but in this case, it totally works. This gets my very rare five diamond award. The Bronson's Bacon Burger. Mushrooms, bacon marmalade. What really put it over the top was some crispy onions. We've eaten a lot of hamburgers in the past couple of months. So at a certain point, you just, you don't want to give them a number score. 
I do have to say that the Bronson Bacon Burger was one of the most enjoyable hamburgers that I've had. Typically when you have a lot of toppings, it makes the burger super tall and then you can't quite get a bite, but the buns were so soft and it was just, like I said, an enjoyable burger. So if we're rating enjoyability, definite 10 out of 10. We came to get coffee down the street at Brulita. Since it's so cold, we didn't want to walk a lot, but they're closed for Christmas Eve. What kind of Christmas spirit is that? Denying the good people of New York City their coffee. Mm, I don't know. I'm just playing, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Still looking for coffee, and this, this place on Mott Street is closed too today, even though Google says it's open. So there are a couple of more coffee places, so we're gonna hopefully find something. After failing to find an open coffee shop in Soho, we decided let's head up to Midtown since that's where our next burger stop is anyway. Hopefully on the way there's some kind of coffee we could grab. If not, I guess it's burger time. We are now in Midtown after taking the train up from Soho to our next burger spot. This is Black Iron Burger, which is basically like a sports bar, burger bar kind of vibe, but with a definite Spanish twist. There are a bunch of Spanish items on the menu, so you know we had to lean into that. Vamos a ver la hamburguesa que pedimos. Jamón ibérico, manchego cheese, a little bit of tomato garlic olive oil mixture, organic fried egg over here, and a beautiful meat patty. This is a burger that I could only concoct in my dreams. It looks phenomenal. I'm gonna go ahead and put it together now. You can't tell from the name that it might have a Spanish twist to it. All right, I'm gonna attempt to do this. I think that's some arugula in there. What? This hamburger looks so good. I'm gonna try it now. All these flavors complement each other. It's only crazy in the American sense, I would say. This, is to this totally makes sense for a burger bar in Spain. This wouldn't seem out of the ordinary. They also have a chorizo burger, which we'll have to try next time. There's also a little bit of crispiness from that fried egg. Put in the comments below if you live in Spain and this is a burger that you see often. It's not only a flavor punch, it's also completely full of protein with the ham, the egg, the cheese, and of course that beef. I'm gonna take one more bite and then let Narissa get some of this. So we did also order some onion rings. This is essentially like the Madrid version of a bacon cheeseburger. This black iron burger definitely has a Spanish vibe to it. I confirmed that with them inside. Having jamón and egg and machego cheese on a burger is really dope. Really appreciated the symphony of flavors in there. And it's just fun, right? Hamburger is something that you can kind of go crazy with, but keeping it within the realm of some, there needs to be some frame, there need to be boundaries, I guess is what I'm trying to say on a burger. I know there are places that are like, you know, a ton of sauce and, I don't know, macaroni and cheese on the burger. This makes sense. Jamón, manchego cheese, egg. Should I get tea or should I get coffee? Coffee. Tough choice. We interrupt this burger tour to bring you a coffee stop at Ground Central. This is a double espresso. This is an oat milk latte. No lavender syrup this time. Thankfully they were open because now we are one for four in finding open coffee shops today. And you know, we need that caffeine. Cheers. I'm gonna try the latte. Hey, it's freaking cold out here. We're gonna take the C or the E train, whichever's first, and then you'll see where we're headed. I am very hyped because of the surprises. It is so icy cold that Washington Square Park is empty compared to what it normally is. There's usually people like packed so close together we feel like sardines, but there's some nice space here. You see, I could actually twirl around like, 
I have space. <laughs> Maybe I could skateboard. But we're here to see the Washington Square Park tree right underneath the arch. The next time we're out here in this type of winds, I think we'll have to test out the Mary Poppins theory. I think that would make a cool YouTube video, right? I flew like Mary Poppins through New York City. <laughs> I could see the title now. Normally, this park is so packed with performers and college students and stoners and wannabe YouTubers and TikTokers and tourists and NYU students and professors and Ghostbusters and New York City Giants who have been released from the team. But again, we mentioned in our Chicago Burger Tour that, you know, if we would have shot this Burger Tour earlier in 2022, we would have probably stopped at like eight, nine, ten burger places. By the end of the day, we would have been like, no more burgers, please. But now we're doing it in a more healthy, sustainable, and frankly, fun way. We have a resi, that's a reservation for all of you who aren't cool like us, at five o'clock. But it's 4.30, so do the math. 30 minutes until our reservation, until our seats are ready. Actually, the restaurant doesn't even open till that time. So right now we're gonna find a place to duck inside to keep warm. I like strolling along here. It reminds me of being in London. Kind of looks like Soho in the town. Oh, I lost it. But it does remind me of Soho and the townhouses that they had there. A croissant donut. Let's try it. Lots of flaky layers in there. This is exactly why I was afraid of squashing it. Ooh, this is actually really good. And this place is super cute. There are like donuts right behind Lewis on the wall. Croissant donut. Let's not call it something else to avoid legal copyright troubles. Like the guy in the hotel. You can't film here. It's a copyright. What's a copyright guy? The hotel? <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, we didn't intend on stopping for donuts on a day when we're stuffing our faces with burgers, but it's so cold outside. We were just looking for any spot that was open and luck was on our side today. Lady luck, as they say. And we stumbled into the Donut Pub, which has a 4.5 rating on Google, not a chain, which is music to our ears. First time having a croissant donut. Looks flaky, looks frosty, festive. I don't know why, but I taste a hint of apple. It's really good. I like it. It's nice and light. Yeah. This would be perfect in the morning with a hot cup of coffee. Our next burger destination is not a burger bar per se, but an upscale swanky piano bar on Great Jones Street. Talk about a cool street name. Great Jones Street? Maybe they should make a great gusto street in Chicago, huh? Anyway, it's too cold to keep talking to y'all. Let's go inside and show you how dope this is. Your coat matches the door. Welcome to the Nines, a relatively new piano bar. You can dress to the Nines if you want. Personally, I'm rocking the Cole Buxton sweatsuit, washed black. We are on our second round of drinky drinks, you know? A little taste, a little sum sum. I got the Hemingway daiquiri because apparently this was Ernest Hemingway's favorite cocktail. Lovely piano music playing, live piano may I add. And we just ordered, I mean, I think you know what we ordered. But we're just chilling and enjoying the ambiance. Phenomenal date spot. This place is red all over, not like a newspaper. I remember that joke. <laughs> <laughs> but really, I'd love to take all the furniture home with me. Red everything. We can make a whole space out of it. I ordered the nine. It looks like a six to you, but for me it's a nine. <laughs> Tequila and mezcal and it had some passion fruit, yuzu. That's my kind of drink. The pianist is playing some really amazing Christmas songs. 
but he's mixing it up. Here comes our burger. Thank you. Ooh, looks like we got some shoestring french fries again. This is the Nines Burger. It has Comte, Burgundy Onions, Dijon Mustard, and of course, a lovely patty of beef. Yeah. Nice sesame seed bun, some shoestring french fries, and a pickle. Yeah. The presentation is yeah. out of this world. Picture perfect, one might say. The bun is yeah. warm and toasted. They also serve it on a hot plate. We're not gonna dilly dally here. Pianist is taking a break, so while he does, time to eat our burger. Bon appetit, y'all. <laughs> yeah. Are you serious right now? Yeah. Are you serious right now? This is a celebrity on a bun. This is the main attraction, star of the show, Hollywood Walk of Fame, beefy boy, on a beautifully toasted sesame bun. Amazing combination of cheese and mustard and onion. Simple yet elegant, classic yet new and refreshing. A trendsetter while not being a hype beast. So good, though. oh my God. This is insanity between two pieces of bread. Mm. I think we found our new favorite. All right, Lewis's face was like stars in your eyes. Everything good about the world was in this burger. So let's see. The best burger I have ever had. Say ever. It one more time for the people in the back. That is the best burger I have ever had. All right, that's just in case you thought we were joking about how cold it's been today. But to be honest, even if it were negative 13 degrees all day, this burger beefy goodness would have all made it worth it. Let us know which one was your favorite, and we will see you next time. Peace.